Well guys, got the hive all cleaned out. Found lots of honey in there. <clears throat> Gonna keep that for the girls and boys this year. Mainly girls at this point. They haven't made any drones yet. There's a package of bees when you order a two or three pound pack. This is what it looks like. They say about for every pound there's about three to four thousand. So you do the math. Here you go. There's a squirrel. Here's about 10,000 bees. Pollen patty on top. Going to try that. Inside this can is some sugar water. That's what the bees are all swarmed around here. And in this little tab inside is the queen. It's a little cage for the queen. A little mini cage inside of the cage. And that's, that's where the queen hangs. Acclimates to all of her worker bees in here. So, get the hive ready. Got my smoker going. Gonna get some smoke going so I can smoke the bees a little bit, calm them down. They've been sprayed with sugar water. Uh, once they calm down a little bit, I'll get my, my gear on, dump them in, get the queen hanging. The queen hangs in between a couple frames. I'll show you when I'm done. The queen will hang just kind of in between in her cage and there's usually a little piece of candy in the entrance that the, the worker bees eat out. They eat that candy out of there then the queen is free and by that time she's expected to be acclimated to her, her hive. And there you have it. <clears throat> it's front of the hive. I have my hive reducer in. I was going to put some sugar water in here but now that I think of it I got lots and lots of honey in there right now and the pollen patty so I'm actually going to switch this out to just that little guy instead of that big one. It's just an entrance reducer that we can use to keep rodents out and keep the heat in for a little bit as the nights are still chilly. The bees will huddle up inside their hive and try and stay warm. That's their goal is to stay warm through, through the night. They usually cluster around the queen <clears throat> and stay warm. And then on to the next day. And as, as our uh, forest here at the farm starts to blossom the nectar and pollen the bees will start going out to forage we'll forage for that nectar and and pollen and bring it back to the hive put it in the cells nectar goes in there and loses some humidity loses some moisture and then it gets sealed up and then you got sweet honey uh gonna get my stuff on and get ready to do this